Now, I will say this. Mm -hmm. Capitalism is not going to save black people. I don't care how much generational mm -hmm. wealth there are. Too many systems. Say it again. But say it again. capitalism is not going to save black people. Um, so, but I will I will say that I am all for a business getting to that, that new bag, that big mm -hmm. bag. What the Shea Moisture founder did do is go and buy Essence. So he didn't just sit around and just, you know, collect his bag and move on to the next. However, I no longer have Shea Moisture in my house because I can no longer use the product. Right. But that did, that did, go ahead. Are you gonna applaud the man that chose the bigger bag to move on? It's like, if I'm gonna get all this money off a business that I built, I'm gonna go and buy the next black chapter that's gonna be, but not so much increase my revenue, but increase my worth in the community. You get what I'm saying? Right. I'm all for him doing that. I'm just saying I can no longer be a consumer, not because you sold it. It's because you changed the formula. Do what you do. I don't know what's all going on in your household. So is that a byproduct of the brand moving from black ownership mm -hmm. to white ownership? That's what I'm asking here. I don't, I don't think so. No? Because I, I still have beats by Dre. I don't care who owns them. But, that, but, but that's, <laughs> not, that's not something that affects your, as you said earlier, mm -hmm. you said it depends. You right, said, it depends. You said, you know, for certain, for skin, for hair, for I got to use certain products. Yeah. You used to be able to use that product. I it used to be all up in your cabinet. I'm saying that was bought by a not, that company was sold, right? And the formula was changed or whatever, uh, right? So if a black owned business does that, right? They make those decisions, right? Is it because, all right, I'm out to make money, which you said, or is it, I want to solve for a problem that black people people like me face and they can't get it from products that are already on the market. I think that's how it always starts out. It always starts out in that way because you are getting up, you launching something because you're targeting a demographic that was already not being represented. Yeah. But once they got to a point where they were making money, then you start thinking through as a business person, you're like, okay, I really do want to continue to support my community, but I also want to yeah. make money. I'm also growing my company. I'm hiring more right. people. We need sure. to make more money. So how do we do that? It's like identifying your out? mission. No, but at the end of the day, it's identifying your mission statement. You get what I'm saying? If I'm creating this brand, what is my end game? Exactly. Am I here to enrich my community or am I enriching my pockets? Exactly. You get what I'm saying? It, you have to look at it as a broad, as a, it's a broad stroke. At the end of the day, Apple still gives Beats by Dre their flowers. Every time a new AirPod is promoted or expunged in any type of audio frequency, it's always referred to every single piece of this was also a manufactured piece of Beats by Dre headphones. They give them their flowers because if it wasn't for Beats by Dre, Apple wouldn't have the market into the audience, into the audio world that they have too. I mean, regardless of having an extensive catalog, they wouldn't be able to give you lossless audio or Dolby or anything but without having the market that Beats by Dre created first to then have AirPods where you can hang up and call. You know what I'm saying? If you're looking at, say, Moisturizer, in the beginning, Jay-Z was referenced as one of the persons that, that dulled millions into it. We all heard about that. Yep, yep. You market what you want to feel included in the, in the, in the, in the foundation of what you manage and, and you put your business upon. I don't know what you just said. You got to just simplify that. It, it's, it's weird. It's weird. Because at the end of the day, it's like, are you selling out? Not necessarily. Because if your end game was to achieve this level, then you're doing exactly what you want. And when I talk about inclusivity, it's like we all want somebody to win. Yeah. So if I'm going, like, let, that's like saying me. You want me to see me win. It was like, yo, I want Ty to have like six, seven, eight different restaurants independently owned. That is a crapshoot because it's never going to happen.